Hello and good day everyone, my name is Sebastian and I am the Novice Prospect. And I have been graciously giving a key by key mailer for United Penguin Kingdom. <laughs> now, we know I love my animals and city builders, and that is true for beavers, and the same is true for penguins. I mean, I like penguins in general. Um, so, you know, king penguins are in danger due to climate change. Uh -huh. Penguins start to take precautions such as using indoor and outdoor coolers. <laughs> With the help of sustainable energy resources, penguins create a safe environment by reducing the temperature for themselves. They also use herbs and medicine when they get sick. Okay? Unlike humans, penguins never fight with each other and live in great unity and solidarity and always help each other. They cheer up with the help of entertainment value, venues, increase education in schools and libraries and never forget spirituality. All penguin settlements follow the orders of the king. The settlement with the best reputation score becomes the king in the United Penguin Kingdom. Okay, penguins build defense towers against killer whales and thief seals. Killer whales attack waterside buildings and try to destroy them. Seals come to the food storages to steal food. Okay, are you ready to start your penguin kingdom? We will see, right? Um, so. This is essentially a one-hour in-game tutorial, or, or you know, a um, demo, if you will. And we're gonna just jump in. I will have a quick look at, you know, some settings. Um, yeah, I, I personally don't like uh, what you call it, motion blur. It, it's not very. Uh, we don't need edge scroll, and yeah. Uh, like, um, most blur can basically induce motion sickness in some people, so I, I tend not to use it. Tutorial. Well, we're just gonna go through, right? Well, thank you, Mela, very much for giving me the key and obviously the game devs. Wasby. Right, Q and E, and you can use the mouse wheel or none plus minus to zoom. Okay. Open the profession menu. Wait, is this banished? Right, click on the idle penguins. And you can move from one idle penguin to another by clicking the idle in the profession menu. Also, you can assign your penguins to different jobs in this menu. Builder's Hut is a place for builders to stay and wait until construction is planned. Let's place a Builder's Hut and assign some penguins to this job. Well, yes, let's... Oh, you want it there. What? Why? Fine, we will place it there. And then... Four. Now we can plan some constructions. So when you plan any construction, builders gather the required materials from the warehouses first. And then start the construction. Okay. Warehouse, uh, warehouse keeps materials up to 1500 at the moment. Okay, a warehouse. So, you know, click, click, and you want that there, fine. Uh, building the primary warehouse. So... Don't see that yet, but we'll maybe see it once it's built. Okay. Um, so click. Okay. Uh, primary warehouse receives task rewards, dismantling refunds. Thank you. And completed trades from the trade center. Bonus rewards from the exploration center and help sent by the king. Okay. When a building is dismantled, all materials, gold spent while its constructions are refunded, and there is a seal. Deconstruct. Deconstruct. Buildings. No. Is it the delete button? No. Ah, okay. We have a dismantled building thing. Yes. Um, when a warehouse is dismantled, its stored products are automatically transported to the primary warehouse. As you can guess, our lovely penguin penguins need to rest. When the rest bar is empty, penguins go home to rest. Let's build some houses for our lovely child penguins. Okay, housing. And kids' houses. Okay. Well, you want that there, apparently. Fine. 
Okay, and so with space you can pause the game. Yeah, I quite like that. Yeah, I know there's this... Uh, uh, we've been feed. Right, and we're building three lodges. Fine. One, two, three. I like the look of this game, I'll, I'll say that straight away. I really do, I really do. It's, it's looking nice, it's very responsive as well. Oh. Oh, we're just waiting on that build. Good, I like that, I like that. Um. <clears throat> And then with the number keys 1, 2, and 3, you can increase the speed at which the penguins are working. Okay, all penguins have a place to rest now. If you click on a house, you can see its parameters like capacity, mating rate, resting speed, and monthly happiness points. All penguins are automatically placed into the houses by considering the closest distance to their workplaces. Each house has a reproduction possibility depending on the mating rate. Mating is disallowed now. Let's click the egg button to allow mating. Okay. Mating is allowed now. You can use the egg button to control the reproduction and the speed of your population growth. There won't be any newborns when mating is dis uh, disallowed. Okay. Let's focus on science. Science Hub produces science points that can be used to unlock new buildings, technologies and improvements. Okay, well, let's build one. Um, I mean, the UI seems fairly clear. You have your resources on the left, um, or oh, sorry, your... your your, your professions, you know, your, yeah, your prof 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 uh, profession here, you've got your resources right at the top, you've got a calendar underneath, you see the sort of upcoming events, and we have an achievement, nice, and we still have to deal with that seal, it's, it's fine, we'll see what the quest does for us, so, um, assign a worker to that, we can't do that, right? And produce eight science points. Okay. And I imagine that just happens. Yep. See? Oh, nice. Okay, we have a science up and adequate science points to unlock new buildings, technologies, and improvements from the sciences menu. So, um, another way of increasing your penguin population is to build a newcomer ramp. Newcomer ramp is an entrance for new penguins to join you. Let's use some science points to unlock the newcomer ramp from the science menu and then build one. Yeah, well, let's. Uh, newcomer ramp. Yes, 12 points. Uh, no, not escape. We want to go and build a um, newcomer ramp and apparently it goes over there. Well, okay, it makes sense because they would come in from the water, right? And then we could add halves by the looks of it. And well, we've done the first tutorial. Okay, well then let's jump into the next one, right? <laughs> um, okay, what what next? <coughs> okay, we see already problems for living space. Many buildings require energy to be activated. Energy generators provide the required energy to the buildings within their range. Let's build an energy generator and activate the building. Okay, boss. Whatever you say, boss. Wind turbine. Oh, you want me to build that over here somewhere? Fine. Click. And so to change the camera view you know i just told the middle mouse button middle mouse button the wheel and turn the wheel uh, the mouse itself when there's an energy required building within the interaction area of the energy generator it is automatically activated when there is an energy shortage it is automatically paused naturally penguins can get hungry too let's focus on food production Trawling dock is a place to catch krill, fish, and squid with the help of nets. Okay, let's do that then. Food trawling dock and yeah, right there. It's uh, 
it reminds me a bit of Kingdoms Reborn that my wife plays, but more actually sort of banished because you have this whole profession gear. Like that's and there's no cards involved. This is a lot more like banished, I would actually say. I, I just don't know about the difficulty yet. <laughs> um, but I'm, I'm enjoying it. I like the the way the, the game looks and then plays. Now we are having what? A worker assigned to the trolling dog. Okay. And apparently we have to wait until they're making four krill. And there's another seal stealing food. Stop it. Okay, if you unlock with the required science points, you can catch fish and squid in the trolling dock. There are five food types you can provide for your penguins, and each gives different happiness points to the penguins. Ah, there were some sneezes there. Food storage keeps food up to 1500 mount. Hungry penguins eat the best food from the food storage. Okay. Um, we'll build food storage right there. Nice. Because, you know, they're making food there and then put it right there. That makes sense. Good. What next? And we make this the primary food storage. The primary food storage receives task rewards, completed trades from the trade centers, bonus rewards from the exploration center, and help sent by the king. So, again, it's like actually the same as the warehouse. Um, if hungry penguins are in the interaction area of a food stand with available food, they eat in the food stand and get extra happiness points. Otherwise, they use the food storage to eat some food. Okay, well, let's build a food stand if that makes them happier, right? Click. Yeah, yeah. Stupid skill. We'll get rid of you soon enough. I hope. And then, basically, I would want to... Give them that job, right? Once it's built. Yeah. Need to work on the food stand. And yeah, food stand worker takes the best fruit from the closest food storage, and each visit brings extra happiness. Penguins are using high tech coolers that create extra ice for an area. A cooler that creates extra ice for an area. Yeah, well, well that seems to be double mentioned, but it's fine. Energy basic cooler. Okay. Um, makes extra ice for an area. <clears throat> oh, there it is. Build it. Just kill it, kill it, kill it. Well, we can't right now. Soon. Stop stealing my food, you stupid seal. <clears throat> I don't care if you were kissed by a rose or not. <laughs> Coolers create extra ice for the interactions area and provide energy for other buildings except for other coolers. Penguins do not lose their health when they are in an interaction area of an co active cooler. Additionally, coolers give extra happiness to the house and all them. Okay. Time to focus on health. Due to increased outside temperatures, penguins get sick when out of a building or an interaction area of an active cooler. When the health bar is empty, they get sick and search for herbs or medicine. Okay. A herb collector. Was found in the water. Okay, fine. Go and get me that herb. I know. I'm saying it right all video. Right, there we go. Good. Build a herb collector. We we did. Now we probably need to give someone that job, right? And then let them produce the four herbs. And, but yeah, I this is, from what I can see, this is a really, yeah, fun little game. If you're into your city builders and maybe, you know, move away from humans. A sick penguin can recover with the help of two herbs or one medicine. Okay. A pharmacy is a place to keep herbs and medicine up to 3,000 amount. When the health bar is empty, they get sick and search for herbs and medicine. Yes, you told me this already. A pharmacy. Click. And then, you know, let them quickly build it. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> 
swinging hammers and everything. <laughs> uh, and this is now the building, uh, the primary farm pharmacy. Um, they go to the closest pharmacy to take out some medicine, and let's focus on roads. Well, I did try in the last tutorial, and then you rudely interrupted me again. But it's fine, I, I forgive you. Um... I don't know why the game would have me design this area stupidly like this, but it's fine, right? And you get money back, the 100% the of the refund actually for when you destroy it. You have uninvited guests in the settlement. Yes, I know. Hungry seals visit your food storage to steal food. Ice Spear Towers attacks any thief seal within the range if there is any available Ice Spear. Let's build an Ice Spear Tower. Yes. Okay, there's, there's our tower to defend ourselves. I want more roads, by the way. Yeah, and then you're gonna steal more food, right? Well, kill him, kill him, kill him. Uh, oh, we need to produce ice spears first. Oh, they're gathering. Placing them. Okay, cool. And yeah, indeed, they're making now ice spears. Come on, I dare you. Come on, come on, come back. I dare you. I double dare you. Say what one more time. Not you. Just me, or does anyone else hear the smart and high comments in the background? <laughs> uh, shoot it, shoot it, shoot it, kill it, kill it, kill it with fire or ice. I don't care, it's, it's, just, it's, a, it's a song of fire and ice in this case. You should check the calendar to see if a group of seals will attack your settlements in the future, and you, you can see that here, right? Uh, penguins in the defense towers never leave their workplace for their personal needs. That's, that's very good of you. A killer whale is approaching. Let's build a defense tower to attack. Ice cannon tower attacks any killer whale within the range if there's an available ice ball. Uh, we have all the balls. For sure. And there, there's the tower. Click. There's another seal. Kill it. Yeah, tell me you have enough spears there. Good. Kill it. You better not let it steal any food. Ah, uh, set. Good. Well done. Uh, then I need to wait until this is built. Quite a lot of material. Okay, and then I give someone that job, right? And then I have Christian uh, producing ice balls. And then Menace is the one working in the Ice Bear Tower. It's actually quite cool. They, they all have little names and, you know, things that they're doing. It's cute. I like it. Um, shoot. Yeah, maybe it'll work, right? I would have had an, I would have liked to have a tower probably over here as well then. For future reference. But you know, oh hello, Mr. Big Killer Whale. Mr. Killer Whale is destroying things. Can you please destroy him? Yeah. Okay, so we lost our herb destructor, uh, 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 constructor, or, or, uh, well, the killer, killer whale destroyed your building. As you see, you need more and better defense towers against killer whales. You should check the calendar to see if a killer whale will attack your settlement in the future. Again, we, we have the overview here, which is really helpful. Uh, defense menu. Oh, okay. 
the defense menu you can see a list of your defense towers and the total number of killer wheels and seeds that you've killed. Alright, okay. And then the amount of towers. Alright, that's cool. Um, well, I suppose we'll jump into the next tutorial, right? We may as well. What else do you teach me? Decorations provide extra happiness points to the houses in the area of interaction. Let's build a decoration. Now, this is something that we know from Timberborn. You know, where I take um, a decorative piece, and then whenever the penguins in this case obviously walk past it or are interact interacting with it, they are more happy. Okay. Uh, the residents in the house that are within the range of any decoration will collect extra happiness points at the end of every month. If you click on a decoration, you can see a list of houses within the range of this decoration. If you click on a house and hover on the decoration sections, you can see the list of the decorations that give extra happiness points to that house. Okay. Uh, a carousel for children. Okay, if you insist. Click. I think I would like to go and start fixing in some roads here for them to move a little bit quicker. If that makes sense to me anyways, it does. Yay! Um, let's build an ice ring so that penguins can have fun. What? Penguins want fun? Really? I thought it's only girls that want to have fun. Apparently penguins want fun too. I can live with that. So build the ice ring. Go on, build it, build it, build it. If you build it, they'll come, they said. You know, extra fun. Let's build a temple for spirituality. Okay. And again, I would like to do some rule thing here. I don't know, I feel like they can at least reach things quicker than that. And we want them educated. Well, yes, we, we can do that. We have schools, apparently, right? So place one there. Finish that pathing off. I quite like that. And what you really want to make sure of is that you cover these um, these blocks because they are basically the entrances, right? Child, pe uh, child penguins get an education at a school until they reach 50% education level. After that, they look for a higher school to continue their education. Okay, let, uh, please be careful with spending your gold and focus on finding ways to earn more. Let's build a treasury. Yes, boss. Click. And then let me also, I just see that one there. Nice. And there's our treasury. And we're making that the primary. Okay. And then reputation. The score depends on your settlement's happiness, education, gold, fun, resting, uh, spirituality, meals, decorations, crews, and public happiness. Okay, open the reputation menu, you know, click. There is all sorts going on. There are two more sections where you can check your positive and negative temporary reputation points. The remaining time and the reason for each applied temporary reputation point can be seen on the list. So that'd be on the, the right-hand side there. Uh, settlement level profile menu shows the ranking in the United Penguin Kingdom. On this menu, you can also see the minimum requirements to reach a higher settlement level or to keep the current settlement level. Higher settlement levels unlock set new sections and on the science menu. Okay, so you know, click and we get okay. Each evaluation is made at the end of the year and then shown in the annual report with your yearly performance and detail. It is best to keep an eye on the profile menu to reach a higher settlement level or to keep the current one. Right, makes sense. Uh, badges. No active badges now, okay. And this is how we would get a badge. 
you know, build a cinema, game centre on top of the ice rink and nightclub and so forth. Well, that was the whole tutorial section. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, I'm thinking I might show more of this. I'm going to talk to the devs and see if they are willing to give me a full key. Um, because this is just a prequel, right? To, to, to the actual full game. Um, which is why it's called Huddle Up. But yeah, if you are interested in this, go and check out uh, United Peng Penguin Kingdom on the Steam page. I will have a link in the description. And yeah, thanks for watching. Look out for each other and yourselves. Have a Merry Christmas or nice holidays, whatever you want to say. And peace out. Bye.